Practice problem 2.24 reads, which form of ionizing radiation is most similar to x-ray radiation and how is it different? So here I have included a drawing of the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is a tool that we use to measure the wavelengths and frequencies of electromagnetic radiation. And electromagnetic radiation is energy that has both an electric field and a magnetic field. And the electrical field propels the magnetic field. The magnetic field propels the electrical field. And so they can travel through vacuums like space, which is why you see things like stars and, you know, light coming from the sun and different planets. So that being said, on the electromagnetic spectrum, we care very much about the frequency of different types of radiations. So a wave looks like this. You see that there are peaks on the wave. So this is a peak and a peak. The bottoms are called troughs. So trough to trough. Those distances get substantially smaller as you go towards the right here on the electromagnetic spectrum. And so something with a low frequency is going to be like radio waves where they look like this versus something with a high frequency would be what we're looking at, x-rays and gamma rays. So in the grand scheme of the electromagnetic spectrum, they're both over here towards one side of the electromagnetic spectrum. So we can say that they have similar, oh, we can say that they have similar frequencies. I think that we can say that they have similar frequencies with an obvious difference being that x-rays have a lower frequency than gamma rays. X-rays have a lower frequency than gamma rays. Similarities in terms of how they're used in particular to what you guys are going to school for, they are both used in healthcare. So used in healthcare. Differences are where they are at in the radiology departments. So gamma rays are what we called are what we call nuclear medicine. And x-rays are just general radiology. In terms of where they come from on the atom, we have the nucleus of the atom. We have here our positively charged nucleus. Inside of our nucleus, we have protons and neutrons. On the outside of the nucleus, we have electrons and Gamma waves or gamma rays, because they are used in nuclear medicine, they are emitted from the nucleus of the atom. Whereas X-rays are emitted from this electron shell on the outside here. Whenever there is a change in energy from the electron shells, that is where you see X-rays. So differences are that they are... Oh, I think that's the similarity side. Differences here are that they are x-rays are emitted from electron shells, whereas gamma rays are emitted from the atomic nucleus.
And then the most obvious similarity between the two are that they are both electromagnetic radiation. And I think that this is a sufficient list. We're not looking of a completely comprehensive top to bottom list here. Just something simple like this will do. Um, let me know if you have any questions about practice problem 2.24 and I will be happy to help you. Thanks.